Hello. We get quite a wide array of questions over here at the workshop. One of those questions is, where's my bank one? And where's my bank two? Where's my cylinder number five? But I got a code for my cylinder number two. Where is that? Well, we also get occasional. Where's my left bank and where's my right bank? So one thing I'll tell you, this is a front of the engine, but you do not want to reference them. You do not want to reference your, your cylinders that way. You do not want to stand in front of the engine, pop your hood or your bonnet and call it like that. What you need to do is go to the back of the engine, which is also here. And you'll see that the engine makes this V shape over here. This is the V8. So this V right here, the V formed by those, this is your left bank and that is your right bank. We're going to take it to the other engine to show you better. You don't necessarily have to sit on the transmission like I'm about to do to get this explanation. But generally what you want to do is reference the engine from the vantage point of the driver, of the driver's seat. That means regardless of whether you have a left-hand drive vehicle or a right-hand drive vehicle, your left is always going to be here. So that answers that question. The left bank is always here and the right bank is always here. If you stood in front of the car, you might get that mixed up. Second thing for this engine right here and most other Nissan V8s, the left bank is always bank one. The right bank is bank two. And what exactly does bank one mean? What exactly does bank two mean? Bank one, again in Nissan's world, carries all the odd numbered cylinders. Bank two carries all the even numbered cylinders. And you have to pay attention because for the V6s, it's actually the opposite in that for the Nissan V6s, that bank, the right bank is bank one and the left, the left bank is bank two. So let, again, what does that mean? That means that your cylinder number one, two, three, five, six, seven, are all going to be here. And here we can see the second to last cylinder here. This uh, fuel injector did not lose its tag. This one says number five. If you look in there, the very first one at the front actually says one. There you go. They're, they are upside down. And likewise, when you jump over to the other side, your very last cylinder here is going to be cylinder number eight. The one next to it is going to be cylinder number six. Let's see if we can show that. It looks like nine, but actually just, you know, turn your head because it said everything is upside down. The one next to it is going to be number four. And the very first one is going to be number two. I think that lost its tag as well. Nope, it did not. There it is, number two. So what that means is if you get a code, for example, misfire code for PO305, that means it's related to this cylinder here, cylinder number five, which is going to be the third one from the back, from the front, sorry. So you come here and usual, usually it could be a problem with your coil pack, this guy right here, which is pretty easy to remove. Just pull your plug, 10 millimeter, uh, bolt and pull it out. It could be an issue with your spark plug, which is all the way in there Or it could be an issue with your injector. Your fuel injector is right here. So I'll Keep the video rather short, but I hope it answers the question as to where is This cylinder number and where is this bank number? I hope that helps you guys and here I just wanted to reiterate that the point of reference should always be the back side of the engine, which is pretty easy for rear wheel drive because the engine is longitudinally mounted. However, when you have a front wheel drive car where the engine side was mounted, don't let it confuse you. The accessories, hence the pulleys and the belt system is always on the front side of the engine, right? And that might depend on whether the bank one or bank two will be near the radiator or the near the windshield. You know, it, it just depends on where the pulleys are. Let's finish labeling this one. And here's a bonus. Just, you know, Nissan V8 things. Well, so alternatively, you could just go ahead and read your manual. I know I should have said this way in the beginning, right? So open your owner's manual and jump to the technical and consumer section of it, which is section nine here. 
And once you make it there, uh, let's crawl in. You're trying to read the engine section, engine specifications, right? So go there. Let's open the pages and you can see those drawings. And yeah, exactly what I said, the V8 engine over there is labeled. And likewise, the V6 engine is labeled over there with bank one on the right. And as a bonus, it also tells you uh, your spark plug. So learn to read the owner's manual. I put this in the back because honestly, most people don't bother to read the owner's manual, right? All right, good luck.